and some noteworthy findings tonight out of the U Ohio State University. Doctors there treating student athletes from a variety of sports found heart damage in 15% of those athletes who previously tested positive for COVID-19. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer has more on the study and what it can mean for anyone else recovering. Early on, universities realized COVID-19 could have an impact on even the healthiest of elite student athletes. Team doctors discovered lingering health issues even after the symptoms were gone. What we thought was in addition to doing the usual tests uh, that we do, which is electrocardiogram and echo, we would also do a cardiac MRI in our athletes at OSU before they went on to play competitively. The more sensitive testing allowed doctors at Ohio State University to detect a potentially dangerous form of cardiac inflammation, swelling of the heart in about 15% of recovered athletes. Evidence of heart cell death or injury to the heart cell. Called myocarditis, Dr. Saurabh Rajpal says in rare cases, the temporary condition can lead to more permanent damage or even death. The large majority of cases, this is temporary. It just means that they have to rest a little while longer than the average athlete before they can go back and play. But it's not just college athletes. The findings could have implications for others recovering from COVID-19, eager to exercise as soon as their symptoms disappear. Just don't jump into, you know, very heavy exercising. Uh, as soon as you recover, give yourself a couple of weeks to recover and then start slowly. Experts say it's important to listen to your body, especially after a COVID-19 recovery. If, for example, previously you could do you know, seven miles, 10 miles easy, and now you're getting tired walking a couple of hundred feet, you know, there's something wrong. The Big Ten has now created a COVID cardiac registry to monitor all of their recovered athletes with the hopes of learning more about COVID's impact on the body and how best to prevent permanent damage.